This is the Logitech K750 wireless solar keyboard which in my opinion is an excellent solar keyboard both in terms of quality of the keyboard and also in quality of the solar panels and solar storage of energy. It can be stored in total darkness for three months and still hold its charge and I find that I've never had a problem with it regarding charge. It's always been near 100% storage energy. And that's even though most of the time I'm in low light. So even with low light, it's worked 100% of the time. The receiver is a standard USB sized receiver. It's also a Logitech unifying receiver, which means you can use it with up to six Logitech wireless devices if they are compatible with Logitech unifying receivers and that means that all your Logitech wireless devices you can just use one receiver for all of them. It's also plug and play so it should just work as soon as you plug it in. It works on a 2.4 GHz frequency, which you would expect from a keyboard nowadays, a quality one. It's a standard full-size keyboard layout. You can see the numbers there at the side, at the right-hand side. There's the solar panels at the top. At the top right-hand side here, there's a brightness button and two, two wee smiley faces, happy and sad. And that's to give you a quick idea of, of the state of your of your energy levels and the brightness of where you're using the keyboard. If you press the button, the the face will either go happy or sad to tell you if the brightness is good enough. But even if it's low light, I find it still works anyway, even if it's a sad face. And when you switch the keyboard on, the red or green lights either light up which tells you, gives you an idea of how much energy storage you've got and I'm usually always 100% even though I use it in low light so it's fantastic for solar storage. These blue keys are shortcut keys. The first one takes you to your home page, the second one to your email page, the third one to a search page like Google and the fourth one brings up your computer calculator. On the newer version of the keyboard, I think these, these keys are yellow, which is which makes more sense as it's a bit brighter. Then the next group of four blue keys are to do with your media player. If you want to play music, basically, or if you want to pause or play it or go to the next track or go to the previous track. And then these final five buttons, the first three are to do with sound, you can mute the sound, turn the volume up, turn the volume down, and then there's a power off key which I use a lot, and then that final blue button seems to be the right click drop down list, the same as the right click in your mouse. And there's a blue button you hold down to access those blue buttons. It's the function key, but it's good that it's in blue, so you associate it with them. And you can see it's very, very thin. It's only a third of an inch thick. It's got little folding flaps here if you want to use them. It weighs about 760 grams, so it's quite heavy, but you can still you should still be able to hold it okay. There's the solar panels at the top, they're really good quality, it's really works well in low light even. There's no problem with connectivity, you can you can use it up to ten meters away. I've been about five meters away and it's worked fine. And you can see the, the quality of the keys here, there's a slimline, they're, 
They're really easy to use. They're a bit noisy, but not too noisy. I think that's just to just to give you the quality of the typing. It's a really good quality keyboard. And here's when I switch this on, you'll see the green light go on, and that tells me I've got enough energy storage. And there's actually there's also a solar app you can get in the Logitech site. But here, when I press this button, it says the light's too low when I'm using it. But I've still got 100% energy storage, so even in low light, it's fantastic. And there's a, an online solar app on the Logitech site, which gives you more information on the lumens and uh, on the energy storage, if you want that. You don't really need it, but if you want it, it's there, if you want to download it. And of course, there's no AA batteries or AAA batteries. It's battery free as far as the consumer is concerned. And there's the flaps at the back if you want to use them. So it's really slim line and I've had mine for over a year and it's never, it's never been a problem for me, even for a minute, not once. So that's the Logitech K750 wireless solar keyboard. It's a full size keyboard, it's, it's great quality the keyboard itself and also for energy usage being a green product. It's solar powered, the solar panels are great and so is the storage, energy storage and you'll not notice any difference between using this and an ordinary battery powered quality keyboard. Also the product itself is maybe PVC free etc so it's it's good to, in a waste sense. I highly recommend this as a quality keyboard and also as a, a green keyboard. So that's a Logitech K750.